Okay, cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Why doesn't NASA do the weather forecasts? Through the courtesy of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, I have been able to make available to you the film you are about to see. Why doesn't NASA have a 24-hour weather channel where they follow the weather for us all day every day? And I guess it's because scientists are too busy forecasting weather on brown dwarfs. And I hear Eris is fascinating. Alright, so let's put our Nibiru caps on and get into it. My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. The solar system possesses an additional ninth planet. To what? Where? There's a real planet out there still to be found. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. I'm Jim Green, director of planetary science at NASA. If Planet X is out there, we'll find it together. Wait, what? Dude, seriously, uh, it's called Planet Nine or Fatty. Now you're calling it Planet X? NASA, that's weird. So the object itself likely sits right in between that terrestrial to giant icy planet range. People have always looked at all these other planets in this strange mass range and said, wow, I wonder what these are. I don't know what these are because we don't have anything like it in the solar system. Looks like maybe we do. This is silly. If there were such an object, anybody could see it. It would be one of the brightest things in the sky. Wait, what, what, what? Wait, what? Hi. Yeah, there is a really weird difference between planets and stars and failed stars, brown dwarfs, and whatnot. I would say we don't know much, and I would say planets could be stars and stars could be planets eventually in a long enough timeline. Nobody knows, man. We're human beings. We live about 100 years. Stars are supposed to live billions of years, so how much can we really know? You know? That's what I'm talking about. We are, all of you know it, on the edge of a climatic abyss. In fact, we have 500 days to avoid a climate chaos. So stay tuned, because who knows what we might find. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Where are my brown dwarfs? I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. This is a tough problem, so... All right, so let, me, let me get you up to date, if I can. I mean, that's what celestial mechanics is really all about. Dancing. Man, I think doing too many hurricane videos messed me up. Cool brown dwarfs are a hot topic in astronomy right now. Oh, I've read that shit. I don't even know how to read anymore. Brown dwarfs are sometimes called failed stars by scientists who have failed imaginations and are really bad at naming stuff. this replace the fucking hubble man i mean it's been 25 years 